Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and in today's video, I am going to show you four ways to create a SharePoint list in SharePoint Online. So we will see different ways to create a list if you are working in SharePoint Online. So without further delay, let me just open the SharePoint site. You can see here, this is my SharePoint site and in this, I can go to the home page. You can see here, I am in the home page and if you will see here, there is a new button. Uh, so click on that and then you will see create list. So once you click on create list, you can see there are different ways you can create it. First of all, you can create a blank list. You can create from an existing list and then from an Excel as well as from a CSV file. Not only this, apart from that also, you can use any of the templates to create a list. So first what we will do here is I'll take the blank list. So when you create a blank list, you can give a name for it. Suppose I will say blank list uh, this and you can give a description for it like for example this is to store blank list details like this and uh, when you create this once you click on create button it will create a blank list so blank list is nothing but but a custom list where you can see there will be a title column and uh, you can add uh, on all other columns according to your business requirement Another way we will see here is you can click on new button and then click on list. You will see here from an existing list. So when you will select this option, you will have various sites you can see here. First one is the site which you are working now. And in this case, you can see here I have a couple of lists available here. So I can use any list and I can create a list. Not only from this current site, you can see here there are it is showing me all the sites. So whatever the site you have access to, it will show that and then you can choose any site. For example, I will go to, uh, let's say this uh, Dutch crafter, you can see I can use also any list from here to create it. For example, I will choose this customary details and then click on next. You can see by default it is giving the name like this, whatever you have selected, you can give the name or you can change it, you can provide a description. And then show that Nabi show in the site navigation. That means it will come in the left navigation and then click on create. So once you click on create, whatever the columns that are available in that customer details on that site. So in that list, so those all these columns are created here. So uh, without just by using the simple one click, you can have a list which is available from another uh, list. You can create the same replica of that one. So now let me go back to the home and then you can see here there is another two option which is from Excel and from CSV. So for that what I will do here is I will create a Excel file. So you can see here, here I'll click on new and then probably I'll say uh, Excel file. I'll say teams uh, details, probably the Excel sheet I gave the name and then suppose I will provide let me assume that this is my column name so i'll say team name and uh, next column i'll add as uh, let's say member count and uh, the last column let's say i will add here owner uh, owner name or something i'll add it here now what I'll do here is I will add a couple of columns to it, a couple of data like I'll enter. For example, I will say development team and uh, I will provide member count as 10 and then owner. Suppose I'll put the owner here. You can see I will put like this one TSN technologies dot on Microsoft.com. And uh, then I'll add one more entry here suppose i will say testing team and member count let's say five and i will give any name here suppose i will give preeti adred ts info technologies dot on microsoft.com now you can see here and uh, what next i will do it so you can select all the uh you can see here I select everything and then you can see you have to format as a table. If you will not do it here then while uploading this excel file you can also do that at that time. But better is we will do it from here. I can select anything and then you can see here 
if we'll choose this option my table has headers so it will treat all this first row as the header so click on ok so now you can see here team name member count and owner name that becomes a uh, header for it and the data type you can see here if you'll select anyone go to the home and you can see uh, the data type is general right and in the table design you can see the table name is uh, table one here so you can give any name also so i will say let's say team table so that's the name i can give okay team table table team something like this i'll give without any special character on this now i will save this file so you can see here i save this file i will go over here and then i will choose from excel so in this case you can see here either if you have whatever the document library you have you can choose also if you have any other document library from there you can choose any excel file or you have the option where you can upload it now you can see here i'll go to youtube here and team details this is the uh, file that we have created now and then click on open now you can see here you can see the team and if you have multiple tables are there in the excel you can it will come here and now look at a very interesting thing here i will show you uh, more when uh, we will choose the csv file now the title this is it is showing the title column the next one it is showing the number type i can choose it here third one i took uh, you know email address but it is showing me still single line of text i do not have people picker here i cannot choose that but let's go to the next thing now you can see here this is the data types and this is going to be your column names the bold ones now click on next now you can see here it is based on my uh, in the name it is showing team details give a description show the navigation i'll just click on create so now you can see here it got created and you can see now how it is appearing uh, your title member count and the data is also appearing here so next what i will do is we will try the last option so in this case what i'll do is i'll just open my same teams uh, whatever the team details that excel file we created i'll go to file and i will do save as so in this case i will just change this to team details csv and i will choose the extension as comma separator files you can see here dot csv and i'll click on save so now you will see here i have a csv file this is my csv file and now we will go here click on list and then you can see i'll choose the from csv option and you can see upload file and i will choose my csv file you can see here team details csv is my csv file click on open now you look at here here is the title column number it is how it is appearing and i can see the person and group column i don't know why it is not appearing in the excel uh, i have checked a couple of forums also that is not supported but here if i choose that as csv file then you can see person and group column it is coming and then click on next click on create and you can see here now this becomes a, a people picker control you can see here right so i mean i don't uh, really understand the uh, could not able to figure out why in excel it is not taking that as a, that as a people picker control and the interesting thing is um, even if i'll go to the team details i will try to let's say change it i'll go here edit column and then here also i don't have that option where i can check change this to people picker so uh, definitely that's something that uh, probably if you require a people picker something then you can probably instead of saving that as a uh, you know excel file you can save this as a csv file because once you uh, have a csv file the data type is coming uh, according to like this same way if your excel is having date time you can that will come as a date time as well so a lot of excel formulas excel columns types are supported so both for csv and this thing you can do it so that is another way that you can create a list the last and final way i will show you that you can use these templates so if you really want to uh, make a let's say travel request uh, details on that um, if you want to store that information then you can choose this template so once you choose this template you can see here you have a lot of columns that has been already created and uh, with some formatting as well so you can see use template so once you use template you can see you give the name description and then click on create so now if you will open this you will have a completely you can see here 
uh, all the columns are available on this whatever we saw in that template you can see and everything is available wood formatting and everything will be there so once you enter the data and you will get those columns there so this is how you can uh, create list different ways that you can create it previously before few days only excel option was there now csv option is also there so you can use that option to create list in sharepoint online so if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our youtube channel you'll get a lot of free videos related to sharepoint microsoft 365 power platform spfx all these things thank you and have a nice day